if you want to connect your Mercedes multiplexer, which is specifically this unit, um, the C3 unit that you receive, um, I've had some issues trying to connect to the multiplexer initially uh, through my D60 laptop, Dell D60 laptop. Um, with this particular laptop, uh, I actually get one serial port in the back um, and I believe the connection um, directly to a serial port is a lot better than going through um, a USB uh, to serial or even a PCMI CIA to serial port connection. Um, so initially when I set this up, I was having trouble uh, connecting the multiplexer itself to the laptop. Um, what we're showing here on the bottom was uh, instead of this ethernet looking cable, uh, it had another symbol. Uh, it was green. And uh, just like uh, another video that I saw on YouTube, um, the only options I had were on this side. Uh, and for the multiplexer side, this was all white out. So sort of like this. Uh, up top it was this right here, this menu was the same as these two menus. Um, and when I go to select multiplexer, um, it, will, it says uh, something that's not accessible. I forgot what it said, but it was definitely uh, not what it's showing now. Uh, when I did plug it in though, um, uh, it seems like the sequence of how I plug in the, the uh, RS-232 um, to the laptop and how it goes from here to the OBD port didn't really matter. Um, so uh, you don't have to fuss too much about the sequence of connection. Um, another, thing, another thing I wanted to note was uh, in my particular unit, I have a green light. Uh, in other videos, I've seen uh, yellow uh, as well as a red light. Uh, it seems like the light indicates nothing. Um, it doesn't mean it's connected. It doesn't mean anything. The only thing it does show is that you're getting power from the OBD port. So don't use that as an indication of anything. Um, so in terms of setting it up, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I was having a lot of issues uh, connecting the multiplexer. Essentially, it wasn't recognizing that I had anything connected to the serial port. And um, I figured out uh, what was wrong with it, and this was based on another video that I saw on YouTube. Uh, and I'll put credits to that video because um, that was what showed me how to correctly connect the uh, multiplexer. Um, and I'll just provide a link on the bottom um, as credit. Um, so when I, yes, um, one thing I found out was um, in this menu, uh, actually it wasn't in this menu, um, it was in my control panel systems, Systems, let me just close this first. Control pan panel system and hardware device manager. And what you want to do is uh, go to your port setting, COM port settings. Uh, and so essentially, this menu is meant for um, um, controlling your serial port communication. Um, if you have a laptop that doesn't actually have a serial port, uh, I'd advise you to look at the video I'll link below. Um, again, that's the video that I'm, I'm mentioning before. Um, but if you do have a laptop like mine where you have a D60 or a D, D, D620 or a D630 that has a serial port, um, this is what you should do with your settings. Um, right click your communication port, go to properties, and then go to port settings and your bit rate here should be 115200, uh, not 128, uh, not 128,000 or anything other than 115200. Click on that and then go on advance and change your COM port to COM port two. Um, before, mine was on COM port 1 and it did not work. Uh, I think the way uh, this whole um, 
whole uh, system was set up, uh, it has to run on COM port 2 for some weird reason. Um, so just put it to COM port 2, click OK. And once I did that, um, and I plugged in my multiplexer, even without my car being in the on position. So as you can see, I don't have a key in there. Um, I was immediately able to see this symbol change to that Ethernet S symbol, um, meaning that my multiplexer is now connected to the car. Um, one way you can test this is go to Star, Star Utilities and then uh, self-diagnosis, Caesar self-diagnosis, and uh, it'll run a report of whether the uh, multiplexer is successfully connected to your computer. So let's just wait for the results of this. This is, the, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm not sure whether I need the car to be in the on position or not, but we'll find out. Yeah, so um, I did not get this menu before. The, the menu was essentially an error page saying that um, there was issues. So clearly it, this is the only way uh, that I found um, that works uh, in terms of physically connecting your multiplexer to your laptop and in this case a laptop with a serial port.